Hello again, it's uh, Ken Green here with Greens and Blues. Uh, it's the first weekend in May 2020, and um, again, spring is upon us. Um, it's great to be uh, playing some songs and getting out in the fresh air. <clears throat> it's also nice to wear some spring-type clothes. Uh, this one, uh, obviously a shirt from the Eagles. I'm reminded that uh, Diane and I went to uh, the first uh, Eagles concert at the PPL Center in Allentown in uh, it was September of 2014. Um, we went with our friends Keith and Lori Nicasani and uh, boy, it was just a magic night. What a great show. They came out and started with an acoustic set and, and then just blew the doors off the place. It was wonderful. The acoustics were great. Uh, of course, this was before Glenn Fry passed away, so you know you really had that full Eagles sound. And, uh, and I did get the t-shirt. Um, I hope I got Keith and Lori something because they paid for the tickets. So uh, either way, I, I, I owe you both uh, a favor. I owe you both one. So anyway, we're, uh, we're still dealing with our uh, national and I guess international health crisis and economic shutdown. And uh, made me think that um, it's just such a shame that um, you know, throughout, particularly early on, that you know, people in, at key points and key decision makers didn't really seek the truth fully. And this is not to be political about any particular person, but um, I just think had, had there been less finger pointing and trying to blame, uh, we might have gotten to a solution quicker than this. And uh, unfortunately, I think we're going to be in this for quite some time. Um, I can't help it, I'm an old history and social studies teacher, and uh, actually recently I've been reading some US history, as I have from time to time, from the perspectives of those who have not been the writers of history typically, uh, more so from the perspective of some of its victims. Uh, I'm referring to uh, the indigenous peoples, uh, African Americans, women. And when I do that, I often gain great insight, uh, seeing things from a different point of view. So. Uh, for me, seeking that truth has always been very refreshing and fulfilling. And I try to do the same through music, is to try to find songs that stretch me and make me think. And so, uh, anyway, the songs this week are about seeking the truth uh, in one way or another. Uh, the first one is a song that was done uh, originally as a part of a, an all-star group, but has been made more famous by Paul Rogers with Queen, and it's a song that they start their recorded concert with called Reaching Out. Uh, second one is a song I've always loved by Michael Bolton. Uh, it's called I Said I Loved You But I Lied. And third one is a newer song, um, a little more upbeat than the ones I've been doing uh, lately, uh, called Am I Wrong by Nico and Vince. So uh, enjoy it. <laughs> 